You're listening to Rebel Spirituality with me, Sam Goldfinch. Here's the truth. Wisdom doesn't follow rules. So each week we're going to explore what it means to wake up your way so you can live a more peaceful, creative and inspired life no matter your circumstances. It's time to blaze your unique path to truth. Hey team, just a special note to say, Merry Christmas. Because if you're listening to this on the day it comes out, I'm pretty sure it's Christmas Day, which is cool. And uh, I imagine that a lot of you will be up to fun family things and potentially not listening to this podcast. Um, And I get that. So if you're listening to it before or after, or you'll be listening to it after, I guess. um, Merry Christmas. And thank you for all the support to this point. It really means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, just another note to say, if you haven't put your name on the waitlist for the Rebel Spirituality Mystery School that's launching in February, then I'll drop the notes, the link, sorry, in the show notes. And yeah, get your name on there. Just even if you're a little bit interested, I'm going to be running an event soon as well. Um, and you can come along and learn more about it and all that stuff. But definitely worth getting your name on it. Um, and yeah. All right, team. I hope you have an amazing end to 2023. And um, yeah, see you soon. Hey, Rebels. Okay, let's talk about forgiving ourselves and letting mistakes, I put that in air quotes, go, because it's really interesting. I think as we kind of evolve our understanding of what success, failure, mistakes even mean, the the kind of distinction between a success and a failure or a mistake starts to break down. Because very often the moment we learn, well, the moment we do learn from a, a mistake, it can become one of the most successful things that happen to us. If you think about that, that's that's literally the way we grow and evolve very often. Doing things well and, and doing things perfectly is fantastic, but there's a lot to be said for kind of failing forwards and actually honoring that process of growth. Now, there's often things for many of us that we we feel kind of guilty about. There's something that we've done could be recent it could be in the past and it's something that we know isn't congruent with who we really are and we're we're thinking about that thing and there's there's this logical kind of process that can play out where we're like well if i just tell myself off enough about this if i judge myself then i'll be able to let myself go and then i'll ensure that i won't do that thing again but here's how it looks to me right whenever we realize that we've done something that doesn't align with with our best self or it doesn't feel congruent with our values we have to honor that that thing has happened and accept that it happened. Okay, we can't change it. Then we have to forgive ourselves for that. And then we move on and we step into this, this better version of ourselves, right? Because the very fact that you're able to see that that is not aligned with who you are, you know, you've already evolved, you've already grown, you've already seen what you need to see. And if we don't, if we don't honor that, if we don't accept it and if we don't forgive ourselves and move on, then, well, here's what we tend to do, right? We deny it in some way. We kind of resist it. We resist the fact that it's happened. We don't want to say, I I really don't want to accept that that thing has happened. I don't want to accept that I did that thing. So, and in doing that, we kind of resist and we're in a massive state of non-forgiveness and in judgment of ourselves. And I think we've spoken about this before here, but the one thing that's true about judgment is it keeps patterns in place. It might seem logical that if we judge ourselves and tell ourselves off that we would stop doing that thing, but it doesn't work out that way. Actually, it tends to be that we judge ourselves. We feel the kind of not not nice feeling of that judgment. And then we get locked into patterns and we repeat things and we find ourselves doing things that we really don't want to be doing anymore, that we don't want to do anymore. So there's a huge amount of magic actually in, in, uh, accepting it. And it's kind of, so one of the things that I've often likened this to is, you know, we hear the telephone ring, we pick up the telephone and we get the message. Now, then we hang up the telephone. Can you imagine what it would be like to have your phone going off with the same message all day, every day? We keep picking it up, we're like, oh, fuck's sake, like, got to get rid of my answer phone for the first thing, right? Why, why do I, why is this message just coming through again and again and again and again? Well, we can hang up that phone. You can hang up that phone, right? Because the reason that you're that you're telling yourself off, the reason that you've been in a state of non-forgiveness, it's is because you don't want to repeat that action. It's because you don't want to do it again, right? But actually, the fastest way to to ensure that is to just hang up the phone, forgive yourself, let that thing go, and move on, and just step into that 
that truth of who you are now. Right, team. That's it. Somehow, we're already at like three and a half minutes. I feel like some sometimes during these conversations, these podcasts, we can unearth something that can be life-changing. It can be absolutely life-changing. And it can only take, sometimes it's only a few minutes. But the core of what we're talking about behind the words is obviously just, it has a ripple effect that's far, far beyond the however many hundreds of words that have been used that I'm attempting to kind of uh, point to this truth with or this teaching. Right, team. I hope you have the most amazing week. Thank you for being here with me. Go forth, be rebellious, and uh, yeah, spread some of that love into the world. See you soon. Thank you.